but it's an ancient idea. The ancient idea is that you, you take it back to the street and you create an internal void that opens to sky. A very simple idea, something called a courtyard. Now, you see the depiction of the light and in what way the rooms are illuminated by light coming from that void. And you see the reality. And the reality is, 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 is when, when it's built. And uh, again, focus on the atmosphere, the ambience of this. Of course, this was not designed for a normal family to do. Yeah, that launched his career. Yeah, you have to remember, this is this is more or less like the kind of project you are doing. This is not a house for mom and dad. Yeah. This is for someone who is willing to make certain sacrifices in their daily life for that ideal. Yeah. Now, I'm not suggesting uh, 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 the houses should be like that. All I'm trying to point it out to you is that when the, when the architecture idea is amplified, you need to take its limit. He was lucky enough. He had the client who uh, was willing to let him to test that out. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's a that's a, a discussion. That's a, that's that's a discussion of, a, of another lecture. And uh, um, you, you, you have a number of years ahead of you, so we will have more opportunities to discuss that. Uh, I will show you some students projects of similar kind and, and you see there's a narrative and uh, I think the narrative is a little bit too um, abstract but uh, there's a figure, there's a storyline and uh, there is a composition of the architectural elements there's this scenario of having this totally open and transparent pavilion and uh, Build on, build on uh, stilts and posts elevated above the water. You know, a, a place of longing. Yeah. A, a little too sort of a literal, but it does the job. And also the effectiveness of the, of the drawing, very simple, the effectiveness of the, of the material. Uh, how, how many building materials? One, two, three. You know, three. Plus uh, the use of the color. It helps, it helps uh, for you to translate your storyline into architecture. And I will show you uh, some more drawings. And uh, very simple, but you will need to render your plans. And sometimes in this circumstance, you know, there's more outdoor so there was space there, which I, I will not encourage you to do that, okay? And, uh, in your case, it's more interior. But when you take the roof uh, away, and you will be able to render the rooms. And, uh, and the, the same thing can be uh, uh, expressed in an axonometric drawing, but I really want to show you the model. So the use of the material is suggestive. It's never realistic. If there's the feel of, say, copper and the concrete, and it is quite effective, you know, when the concrete part of your building is made of wood. And that's another project that I would like to show you. And then the purpose of showing this, this image is to remind you, you are not designing a house for, for your mom and dad. You will not fail this project if you if you uh, uh, do not have a dining room or a bathroom or etc. We want you to concentrate on the moment. We want you to concentrate on the, the, the ambience. We want, to, we want you to test in what way the architectural language can help you, can help you realize them so that becomes suggestive. So the activities are suggestive. In this case, you know, there, there, there's no bottom, there, there's no end. It's, it's an endless kind of tower. Yeah. It's floating in the air. Yeah. But, it, but it's held up by a, by a, by a glass box. And uh, so what kind of activities you, 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 know, you, you might envisage? Maybe it's a scenario of a certain kind of relentless character. 
Maybe it is quite the opposite of the Dutch paintings. Maybe it's a nice way of translating Edward Hopper into architectonics. Yeah. But th this has been done, okay? I don't want to see that in your, in your project. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's a, yeah. But it's a very effective model because the effective model shows the relentlessness of the movement. Yeah. You, you cannot stay put there, or only partially. And also, uh, and, and the level of transparency is used to, to make it a limitless. Yeah, that's another view. Not, not the best of the renderings, but again, it does the job. It does the job to show you the notion I've used, you know, see your project this time as a receptacle, a content, rather than an object. And then you must force yourself to work from inside out and then outside in. And then you do not do frame gallery, you do not do an object, and then you try to mold the interior to suit. Definitely the opposite. And uh, this one I want to show you the possibility of different sites. So you can have your you can have your room or series of rooms underground, subterranean. So what's the consequence of that? Once it's underground or subterranean, and then the kind of light you can get in only comes from above, not the sun. I show you this. <clears throat> a beautiful model. A beautiful model. Now I, I would like to encourage you this time to expand uh, your model making to something you know that is more adventurous. So what are you using a piece of clay? And then you open it. On the ground, you test the light. You see how fascinating, how fascinating is to look at those uh, plastic tubes that will actually give you a glow. This project probably was done 20 years ago. You know that fascinating invention by a Brazilian mechanic? You know, he used a, a plastic bottle 1.5 liter plastic bottle filled with water with a bit of bleaching and inserted that into a roof and that will give you a light bulb and now it's been used in the Philippines because the, 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 the slums uh, uh, in Philippines are completely built up area and they don't have windows and the rooms are dark they rely on electricity. Because of that invention, now they have natural light, they have daylight, and so cheap. You know, two dollars, you can get one. And have that installed. And that's a rather revolutionary kind of invention. Uh, simple, sustainable, but the consequence of that is the kind of architectural quality. I don't think people have considered that. But when I was looking at this slide last night, I thought, that was already tested you know, 20 years ago by a student. And uh, uh, it's interesting to reflect on what you might come up with if this. What you might come up with can be, uh, can be, can be completely original. So uh, we, uh, we look forward to it. All right, and I have uh, two minutes for you to ask questions. Yes. Any questions? <laughs> Very good. You are all set. So we look forward to some fantastic projects from this class.